Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays MMOs. Today I'm in Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm on my level 12 Arcanist. Uh, the previous episodes I did some of the Arcanist quest. Today we're getting back onto the main storyline, and I'm here in Swift Perch, uh, which I actually had grabbed the Aetherite for and the Chocobo the last episode or one of the previous episodes. So I was able to quickly get down here. And, uh, oops, let's uh, go down here to Lyuluf, Lyuluf. Leuf, and see what he has to say. Hi, Namia herself forsaken those desolate land? Though I understood there were risk in gambling my entire fortune on a crop of millicorn, I have at least expected the seedlings to be delivered before disaster struck. Okay. Oh, that's right. We found the strange seedling on the side of the road. Is is that Milla? Melon corn seedling? Oh, joyous day. It may have seen a paltry beginning, but the yield of the particular variety of crop plant is nothing short of astonishing. As you have undoubtedly noticed, the swift perch lacks a certain, shall we say, vital energy. Thus, I mean to restore a modicum of hope to its residents by growing a veritable ocean of corn. Uh-huh. You, sir, seem to fit the burst of with vim and vigor, might I persuade you to abide while abide while I help nurture this ailing settlement? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, especially if you're going to give me some gloves. Um, let's see that one. Yeah, we have to do this one. Da! I did take off my helmet since that was rather goofy. You can do that by hitting here. You can see how. Gives me that helmet looking thing. I didn't like that. Uh, let's go ahead and. Oops, I don't have a gear set. That's not what I wanted. This. Let's go ahead and equip the best gear that we've got since I hadn't done that in a little while, obviously. And let's go on and see what he says now. Oh, this will be even better. The calamity was the most horrendous event. It took for from me my father destroyed our home and scorched our fields it crushed my hopes and my dreams all of that i have left all that i have left of my dear old dad is his notebook he scrawled down a fair bit of nonsense that in that ratty dog-eared tome but as i was leafing through the pages one day i found a passage entitled for the future it described the location where my father had buried his entire his earthly wealth in an area that was once a bustling neighborhood. I was not aware the family possessed much in the way of treasures. Could the crafty rapscallion have squirreled away a bulging bag of gill or precious stones? Just think of the contribution I might make to Swift, per Swift Perch Revival with such a fortune at my disposal. The catch? Ah, yes, the catch. The area is crawling with bandits and wild jackals. I need someone, that's you, uh, to search among the derelict house and the flock of in the flock and dig up the casket my friend buried all right so we're going to go find out what kind of riches are in the field uh is it telling me to go over here no i mean this is the lead mate i know about that where is oh i guess it's up here ah, duh. and it looks like we're coming up on the spot here there are some jackals around but Let's see what happens. Find nothing of interest. Of course, I need to go over where the jackals are. Nothing. Aha! buried caskets of riches so back to town and see what he says about it all right Lyolf, i've got your casket right here my father was a frugal man thus i expected the casket to hold quite a substantial bounty but this this is my father's entire earthly wealth why there's nothing here near but a fistful of wheat seeds what in Eorzea could have possessed him to so carefully conceal such a mundane? I remember now. He once told me that our family's wheat was an was as a stubborn weed. It was one of the few crops that could take root in the barren soils of the western Lost Nazia. 
Uh, with these seeds, our lifeless fields could once again sprout golden stocks. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You have truly given the settlement a chance to build a new future. Cool. Yep, going to take that jacket. Let's see what that looks like. That's this one right here. Whoop. Ah, back to wearing a dress. And now... Aha. He's got another quest, but Frey Luf has the main quest, so let's see what he has to say. Uh, I'm not really doing the side quest in this series. I'm only doing points of interest and uh, dungeons and when we get to that point and everything else. So it's not going to be a lot of side questing and stuff. I'm not going to do everything on camera. Uh, let's, but let's see what he has to say. We're here for the main quest today. You there, adventurer, cast your eyes toward the Brewer's Beacon. Does that light not seem uncommonly weak? I don't know what you're talking about, dude, but okay. I cannot possibly be bright enough to guide the ships sailing in the bay. I would march over to the lighthouse and investigate myself, but I am duty-bound to remain at my post. I would consider a favor if you could go make and visit the Brewmaster's Beacon, the Brewer's Beacon, not the Brewmaster's, and see if it ought has befallen Causeway, the lighthouse keeper. Aha, so, uh, where's the, where is it at? I don't even see it. I guess maybe that's the point, is that that's it up there, maybe? So uh, let me head over there. Aha, there's the beacon right up there. You can see it's, uh, it's a little dim, not to be noticed. Okay, conswise. You say the yellow jacket sent you here? Eh, me light's grown dim, has it? Well, of course it bloody has. The bomb was the fuels me furnace has up and buggered off, you see. If I don't get that beacon fixed up soon, there'll be trouble on the water. Yeah. I know you're just a messenger, lad, but I can tell the veteran when I see one. I'm going to need you to chase down that bomb and bring him back the claw. Bring back a claw that you ripped from his smoldering corpse. Take this here iron brazier and set her down in the middle of the flock, somewhere near the scarecrow, I'd say. Yet get a nice fire going, and that frisky bomb will soon be about. Watch you don't singe your eyebrows, lad. All right. I can do that, whatever that all meant. <laughs> uh, is it out here? Yep. And there's, of course, a fate going on. Uh, so I'll be right back when I get out there. Well, just completed the fate to uh, get to the area and got another level, so that's awesome. I'm now level 13. And here's the destination. Use it. Target is not in range. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh, this is the scarecrow. <laughs> Now, we should see a bomb here soon. Where is he at? Sewer mole. Light the blazer? Oh, <laughs> I guess I gotta actually do something with it. There he is! Now we just got to go back to the lighthouse, which is right over there, looking pretty cool, and turn this in. All right, I got your bomb parts. All you need to do is take down the runaway bomb and bring me one of its little claws. I did. Ah, you got the ashy bastard, did ya? Once I put this little firecracker in the furnace, that should keep the things running for a while. I had myself a bit of a look while you were gone, and Lemians cursed me if the furnace weren't all bent and broken. Small wonder the bloody blom was able to escape. I patched things up as best I could, but ain't no smitty. Ye might want to have a chat with the yellow jacket friend of yours at Swift Perch and have him pass the word back to someone in Lamenza. Okay, now is it brighter? I can't I don't know if we can really tell or not. Eh, maybe a little. So, back to Swift Perch. Alright, I got it for you. Come on. 
There. The furnace is damaged, is it? Very well. I shall write up a relevant report, but these repairs must need to be effected without any delay. It seems I have another favor to ask of you, adventurer. Take yourself straight forward to the Armorer's Guild at Lamensa Lamensa and explain the situation to the Forge Master. Okay. So I'll be taking the Chocobo back to there. So here I am at the Blacksmith Guild. The furnace of the Brewer's Beacon needs repair? Brigard's beer. I just sent someone out to tinker with it. Not a week past. Mayhaps the bomb Ken's Ways had trapped in there was a touch too volatile. I'll have an artisan visit the lighthouse and pay special attention to reinforcing the castle, the casting of the furnace casing. Your work is done here, adventurer. May the navigator guide you on your journeys. Very good, very good, very good. Getting more boots. Now, hmm. Ah, she's got something else for me. Good, good, good. I was like, what are we going to do next then? What say you taking on some work from Neldick and Vemilis? We've a great hulking warship build and could certainly use an extra hand for any number of tasks. So we're going to be doing a lot of going around. Uh, for your first job, we need to run this missive over to Ep Brim, the head of the shipwright at Morby's Dry Dock. Okay. We must forge the ship's bits and pieces here at the Armorer's Guild, but the actual construction takes place at the docks found in the South Lower Lenazia. Uh That's also where we find the main offices. The Morberry's Dry Dock is one of the Lomensa's Lomensa's most important districts, at least as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure you'll not regret attuning yourself to the area's aetherite. Oh, uh, sure. If you've not no confidence in your sense of direction. You'd be best served making use of the Chocobo Porters first floor. Yep, I know how to do those. So we're going to deliver this missive to Lower Lalancia. And it looks like Morby Dry Docks. Have I already have this Aetherite? So I think I'm going to just go ahead and pop right over there. Be a lot easier than anything else. And here he is at the dry dock. You can see that they're building the ship there. That's pretty cool. Not been here before or seen this. You have a missive for me from the Forge Master. I assume it pertains to the pending arrival of materials I ordered over at Moon Pass. Let's see it then. There you go. Oh, we're going to get a cutscene. Blast and botheration, another delay. I'm well aware of the shortage of skilled artisans, but this is insufferable. My apologies. The messengers does not deserve to bear the brunt of my frustration. Might I have your name? <laughs> Desarian it is. Well, Desarian, the proud maiden you seek taking shape before you is the victory. The first new vessel to grace the dock since the calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ship that fateful day, but st starting with this beauty, we will restore the Maelstrom fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship. It is the symbol of Lamensa Lomensa's rebirth and the record wrought by the coming of the seventh Umbriel era. Thus, we are striving to complete her construction as swiftly as possible, even going so far as to hire veteran shipwrights from outside the Thalassocracy. Yet, even with such unprecedented majors, there are never enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Should you choose to linger at the docks for a time, there's no end of jobs or hardworking adventurers. Be you fair warned, there's no place here for layabouts or troublemakers. Awesome. Hey, it looks like we're going to get some pants to go along with this as well. Very cool. So I have a feeling the uh, next couple of missions are going to be uh, more going back and forth and no real cutscenes. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and leave any comments you may have. Uh, I haven't been getting a lot of comments on my Final Fantasy XIV videos. So if you do like these, make sure you leave a comment. Hit those like buttons because they do guide me in what I'm recording. Uh, so you want to make sure that if you're liking these, that you get it bubbled up to the top. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe because I do cover other MMOs and I try to put out a video every day of the week. So you want to make sure you subscribe so you get notification of that. So, till next time.